Great news. The rain filled the water barrel. I can't wait till I get the big one that's like two foot by two foot. So I'll have nearly two and a half times that amount of rainwater to water my tomatoes, courgettes, some inside strawberries, not many. Most of them are outside. And seedlings. These are my um, Sweet Williams, which I had a disaster with the hail, and I still have to pot out those. And I brought some indoor plants outside. These are my amaryllis, most of which were given to me by a cousin who died quite a few years ago now, so I've had them for a while. And this last year I repotted them, hence there's no blooms. But uh, I brought them outside, and this is my Christmas, look, it needs a bit of a water, it's so dusty from being in the house. But um, my uh, Christmas flower will, poinsettia, will appreciate being in more sun and heat. So I now can, you can see since last, yesterday, this is dried out, so I can now re-water from the rain barrel. So the only thing is I will have to use the hose to water the wall for the valerian and to keep the uh, grapes moist up there. But everything else seems to be doing well. The courgettes in the corner here are coming along okay. The tomatoes are blooming. I have to transplant that one. And I have to do some watering this morning. But uh, everything's looking good so far in the vine house and very pleased to have the uh, water barrel refilled. Thank you, lady. So that's a lovely addition. And the trees that I took the stakes off of, I'm now using to stake the uh, tomato plants. So everything's in use. Oh, and I've blocked you out from the exit, haven't I, Maya? You can't get out. Here, do you want to get out? There you go. I'm giving you an out. You want to get out? Come on. There you go. Clever pup. I still have to weed this flower bed as the dahlias grow. They definitely need some um, weeding because there's a bit of uh, there's a bit of bindweed in there, which is a pain in the arse because it binds the plants all together, and they don't get a chance to really grow. But I'm loving some of these colors. They're fantastic. A few sweet williams. There'll be more next year. They're biannual. So the seedlings that I'm potting, uh, advanced potting, will be here for next year. So the, there's, and also the foliage variation. I love having uh, foliage variations. But there's definitely bits of bindweed. And here's beautiful astilbe. I love astilbe. And I thought white as still be in this very sheltered corner will look lovely. So there's, I love this plant too. Not great with names, but this is a lovely one. And I want more of it here and this white stuff. I'm desperate at names, but love plants. So there you can look into the greenhouse now, or the vine house rather. So more and more dahlias are gonna start flowering. And see, I want to weed, see I've got dandelions, but I want to keep the poppies. I don't want to keep the catmint because I've got plenty of it elsewhere. I don't want, these are the biannual primroses that grow about four feet. I don't want those here. See, there's loads of those here. So I might transplant some of those to somewhere else. See the catmint. There's a prolific amount of catmint. This is uh, Love in the Mist, so I'll keep that. And the poppies. I'll keep the poppies and the Love in the Mist in this bed. But I think I'll take out the um, primroses, the really tall primroses, and put them somewhere else. So here you can see another one of those tall primroses right there. And I'll put them somewhere else. So I'm. this is going to look fabulous soon which is going to be such fun and then the blue agapanthus which I've had for years is here uh, I've divided it up because when they were doing this they were going to be stepping all over it I divided it up 
and I've been meaning to transplant those blue agapanthus into that area because I loved having the clump of big, beautiful uh, blue agapanthus here on the corner. I also have to transplant these artichokes somewhere. I got them at a sale price somewhere. They were looking funky and tired and I've rejuvenated them. What I'll do is, see it's got a baby uh, artichoke coming up and what I'll do is I'll snip that out so that it puts more work into growing its leaves and things like that rather than in its flower and plant head. So that's that job and over here I want to plant out all the uh, primroses. You can see there's loads of primroses I was given by um, a lovely man and I want to plant them all out under here. And these are my lupin seedlings growing on. And these I want to plant out in areas of the garden that need a bit of plant filler. So those are a few of the jobs that I'm not going to get them all done today. But it gives you an idea that gardening is a never-ending summer job. And if you enjoy it, you're exceedingly lucky. Isn't that right? You being careful amongst my seedlings. You being careful. Yeah, you. I don't want you doing rude things amongst my seedlings, you bold puss cat. And here comes the rain again. It's starting to rain. You can see here. Best way to see rain on film is when it falls in water. This is a water tank from the stable roof. <laughs>